All right, so we are not supposed to forget to make this column a text data type column. So I'm going to click on this ABC123 right here and I'm going to select text. So when it comes to creating conditional columns and filling the conditional column dialog box, there is still something else that I haven't shown you yet. So if I go to create a new conditional column and before I really do that, let me tell you what I am about to create now. So you see that we have two columns here. One of them is um, current level and the other one is next level if promoted. So we are going to assume now that anyone whose student grade column is showing as fill is going to remain on the same level. However, if somebody's student grade is pass, then the person has to move to the next level. And if the person's grade is advised to withdraw, then the person's um, promotion is going to be advised to withdraw, right? So essentially, I want to create a new column somewhere. So I want to create a new column somewhere like that. Now in that new column for each person, the values are still going to be based on conditions. So the condition is going to be something like, okay, so for this person who has passed, then this 200 level that we have right here is going to be the value that will be shown here. This person also passed, so this 200 level is the value that is going to be here. Now, this person is advised to withdraw. So in the new column, what will be there will be advised to withdraw, right? And then this person who has failed right here is going to have this 100 level coming in here because it's going to remain on the same level. So when you look at the rules here, you will see that the rule we are applying now is going to fetch the values from inside a column. Unlike the first one we created where we're actually typing out the output values, we're typing out the output values. For the values that we want now, we have to import existing values from some real existing columns. So I'm going to click on my add column tab and go to conditional column and we are going to carefully fill out this form. So this new column name, I'm going to call it promotion status and it's going to be based on the student grade column. It's going to be based on this column right here and I'll be saying that if the student grade column equals to pass, for example. Now, before I even proceed from here, you will see that for some of these values and for some of these output that you see, you can see that there is a drop down right there and that drop down is supposed to allow us to select between manually typing in a value and selecting the value that is in an existing column already, okay? So I'm saying here that if the student grade equals to pass, then the person has to move on to the next level, right? So instead of picking the value from the current level, if the person has passed, the person needs to move on to the next level. So I'm going to come here and click on the drop down here to select, select a column so that the value that would be output is going to be next level if promoted. Then I'm going to add a new clause to say, Again, if the student's grade equals to fail, then the person has to remain on the same level. That means the value that is going to come out for that person has to be the same value of what the current level is instead of promoting to the next level. So I'm going to click here again to select a column and I'm going to say, hey, for that person, you have to give me back the value that is inside the current level. Now, otherwise, is going to be advised to withdraw because the person did not pass and the person did not fail. The person is actually advised to withdraw. Really, the person has failed woefully. So the value that is going to be here, I can manually type in here, advised to withdraw, or since I already have this advice to withdraw value as part of my student grade column, I really don't have to type it out that way. It is a little bit stressful for me so I can come here to say else, again, select a column, which means else, just give me back the value you find for that person inside the student's grade column, okay? So when I click OK here, I have my new column 
For some people, they are going to promote to the next level. For some other people, they are going to be advised to withdraw. And for some other people, they are going to remain on the same level, right? So anybody who has passed, for example, is going to move from 100 level to the next level. So for example, uh, this person right here has passed and the person is moving from 200 level here to 300 level which basically is coming from this next level column that we have here now for this person who has been advised to withdraw then the person's promotion status is also advised to withdraw and for this person who has failed then the person basically cannot move from 100 level to the next level which is 200 level the person basically has to stay on the same level